Welcome to a homemade puzzle activity with Miss Kelly. Check it out. Hey friends, I have a little bit of something fun you could do to make your own posters at home. And all you need is a box from say your cereal or some fruit snacks you've been eating and a wonderful pair of family approved scissors. So once you have these materials, come back and continue along. So this is what you gotta do. You need to carefully take this box and trim away all the excess around the edges. It's okay if the line isn't perfectly straight. I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's just the edge of the puzzle. So once you have cut off all the little extra pieces from the box, then you're ready to start the puzzle. So it should be nice and flat like this. Now, don't forget to stop and take a picture of this because every good puzzle has a picture to follow when you're recreating the image. So take a moment, take a picture, and then continue on to our next step. So now that you have a picture of your wonderful box, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna cut it into pieces now we could make maybe some 2D shapes out of this. So the first shape that I could make out of this box is, I'll let you guess. You're right, it's a triangle. I made a triangle. Hmm, how about this one? What kind of shape does this one kind of resemble? Yeah, a rectangle, not perfect, but it'll do. Hmm. How about, for maybe my older friends watching that know the kind of triangle this is. It is a triangle. It is, you're right. It's a right angle triangle because it's a perfect 90 degrees. Well done. So what you're gonna do is continue chopping this up until it's in a bunch of pieces. Now, I'm gonna fast forward this so that way you can see the end result. Well, <laughs> now my puzzle's a bunch of pieces. At this point, you can try to recreate it using your schema or your memory of what that box used to look like, or you can use your picture that you took earlier to remind you of what it should look like. I wonder how many of these puzzles you can make. Now, for easy storage of all these loose pieces, you can just put them right into a Ziploc. That way they're there and you can do it a ton of times. I wonder how many pieces you'll make. I wonder how many pieces you could probably cut your cereal box into to make. Hmm. I challenge you. I wonder if you could make a 40 piece cereal box challenge. To bump it up into a little check in with your math, you could take all the shapes and sort them by style. Triangle, square, rectangle, diamond. Who knows how many shapes you can make? Let's see what you can make at home today. Happy learning, friends. 